That's not supposed to drip. Welcome to Busy Bee Living. Today we're starting down at the bar. Why? Because we did a plumbing project and it drives you crazy. Something I've always learned is plumbing projects never go the way you think they're going to go. Um, and if you YouTube them and you watch like the ones direct from Delta or any of the actual companies, they show you replacing parts on like brand new uh, faucets and washers and stuff like that. It's a little unrealistic. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what went through. Specifically, this guy did not want to come out. It was it was like seized inside there. Not seized, it was just extremely difficult to get out. I was able to finally just kind of work it back and forth and finally get it out. As you can see though, <sighs> plumbing jobs. The other thing I want to bring to the attention, uh, my model is um, pre, what is that? Pre-2006, yeah, replaced a single control valve cartridges with the white upper cap made before 2006. The, um, after 2006, they changed this to gray, and that's how you're going to identify what you have inside there. But also, they changed the top configuration. I mean, you can see it has this little extra stop knob and stuff like that for the hot water, or the for the handle to turn and everything. The new one does not have that. Don't be kind of like, oh my gosh, did I get the wrong part? Like I was when I finally took the cap off and while wow, I was like, Pfft. you know, I just shut the water off to the whole house to get that shower shut down. And uh, I do not want to have to keep going back and doing this. So we'll walk you through step by step so you can get the project done and uh, come down to your bar. Enjoy one there. So cheers and good luck. Okay, so you can see we have the brand name here, Delta, and then up here we have the monitor. More importantly, right underneath here, it's tough to make out, but it says 1400 series. All right, so I want to cover up the drain here so we don't drop anything down there. And before we remove this handle, we want to make sure the water's off. So you can see it's turned there. And I shut the main water off to the hose. Now we're just going to use an Allen key to remove the handle. And now we can slip off that cover. And now that exposes the bonnet nut. Now you'll need a strap wrench to get this loosened. And this is a good time to remind any of my friends who has my larger channel locks. I could use those back. But I will say the strap wrench seemed to work the best on it. I was able to get this loosened just enough so I could loosen it up with my hand the rest of the way but something to remember you don't want to go too crazy on this and damage anything now we've uh, exposed the cartridge and here's where I had some issues and I think it might have been because what I did right there where I accidentally um, unscrewed it and exposed the other portion of the valve there and that might have thrown things off a little unbalanced and it was really giving me a heck of a time trying to get it out of there. But I just had to slowly work it back and forth. Uh, I wanted to be delicate because I didn't want to crack any of this plastic. And it did eventually come out. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on camera because, well, I knocked over the camera twice doing it. And I felt like, you know what, it's probably better to get this out of the way before I break it. But it did come loose. That was not fun, but it's out. Okay, now with that loose, we wanna bring over our new cartridge and put some plumber grease on there, just on the valves to make sure that they don't corrode. As well as you wanna check inside the pipe, make sure that there's no debris or anything like that sitting in there. And then we're gonna line up the one side with the H to the hot water side and slide it in until those two little indicators uh, insert into the pipe. Then we can come back and reverse our order here. We'll put the bonnet nut back on, tighten it down, put on the slip cover, and now we can reattach our handle 
Uh, it took me a little while to finagle that to get it in the right position. And now we're ready to turn on the water and give it a try. So what I did is I got that running, turned it on, make sure everything was running. I wasn't having any leaks uh, below in the basement, especially um, making sure that the pipe wasn't damaged. But more importantly, you can see here when I shut off the handle, I no longer have a drip. All right, well, I hope after you watch this video, it gives you a little bit more confidence into going and doing it yourself. Also, kind of a more realistic what might happen when you get in there. You know, things aren't going to loosen up like they're supposed to. Things aren't going to easily slide out. So just keep that in mind, and, you know, keep going through. Don't give up. Literally, I was working on that thing for quite a bit of time. And it finally came loose. So also don't get frustrated pound on things and do stuff like that you're just going to make more work and damage it so if you need to step away for a second relax and get it done i hope to wish you the best of luck on your upcoming project here if it's your first time on the channel we'd love to earn your subscription it really does help us out as a channel i will also leave uh links to the replacement part i'm gonna put the pre-2006 and the post-2006 so you can see those inside there uh, and get it done the way you need it to get done. There are a few different con um, configurations though, the delta handle, some of them have like a double handle and that this one will not work for that. So make sure you're looking at the proper model number on your uh, delta faucet. Also, don't use the shower head because um, it might be different. Like I replaced my shower head with a Moen and the actual handle is a delta. So uh, if you're looking at that, that's completely different. Always look at the actual unit itself. The handle will tell you what it is um, when it comes to these showers because people change shower heads all the time. So, well, until next time, thanks for buzzing by. We'll see you in the next video.